here's little docks. You can stand out and look upon the ocean. Yeah, the squids are red in this texture pack. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is good in the neighborhood, my brothers from other mothers, and half of you are like, random, Wh what are you talking about, I don't know, I thought I'd try something new, anyways, what's going on everybody, I'm RandomGuy66, and welcome back to another Minecraft how-to video, and as you can see, we're in my uh, YouTube creative terrain world, and last time we were in this world, uh, we were building this thing. This is my Minecraft greenhouse that we built last time. Uh, so yeah, there's a how-to video on how to build this. Obviously, it's this is just a vanilla version. I built this in a texture pack, so it, it'll look much be better if you're using uh, a different texture pack. But yeah, so this is what we built last time. Obviously, we're not building this this time, but uh, and we got a little path that leads over here to this village. And so I'm kind of basing most of my buildings that I'm going to build in this world around this village. And if you're right here, you can see in the distance some massive thing. And this massive thing is what we've built this time. And so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Minecraft how-to video for a Minecraft boathouse. And most of you are wondering, uh, Random, what is a boathouse? Well, take a guess. Uh, okay, time's up. It's a house for boats. And, uh, thank you, Windows. Uh, anyways, so yeah. This is my Minecraft boathouse. Uh, it's pretty simple to build. I took a lot of, uh, inspiration from, uh, Harry Potter. The Harry Potter Hogwarts boathouse. Uh, you can just search that up on Google and it'll come up. So, uh, it's actually really simple to make. I know a lot of you are, are wondering, like, wow, that looks pretty complicated. Uh, this inner square, if you disclude these uh, posts, it's 13 by 13. It's a, it's a massive square. This bottom layer, and 15 if you include the posts and overhang of the roof. And then uh, 16, 17 for these little docks out here. So, I g actually, I guess first I should go through a little tour of the place. And... Uh, I have to admit, I did not build this in my regular texture pack, or not in the default Minecraft. I did not build this in the B00 texture pack either. I built this in the John Smith Legacy 1.11.2 version 2 texture pack with 32 by 32 bit textures. And so, wait for it. Wait. There we go. And doesn't that just look gorgeous oh my gosh oh I'm so every time I look at it it's so good alright so we're gonna ta walk in here so here's the main pathway over to the boathouse you're gonna come in the door right here boom here's your main room okay you got your boats here there's your passage out you've got chests for storing stuff you got tables over here you got some racks for like I don't know paddles or something I don't know here's little docks you can stand out and look upon the ocean. Yeah, the squids are red in this texture pack. Who knew? Anyways, so yeah, you can come out here. They have the same thing over here on this side and on this side. And so yeah, that's pretty cool. You've got the same kind of storage and crafting situation. Oh, look at that crafting interface. Oh, gorgeous. Um, over here, you can come up the ladder. There's a ladder up here uh, with the roof. So you can come up here. There's a ladder. You hit the ladder. Boop. And now you're in this kind of funky attic uh, attic storage place. I've added some some uh, some flower pots, some more chests, maybe a little seating situation if that's what you're into. You can kind of look out the big windows. And uh, yeah, there you go. And if you're even fur interested in going even further up, thank you. Even more attic space with a little table and uh, some cobwebs. I added some cobwebs just to make it give it like that old, uh, never been dusted feeling. So yeah, you can sit on this window and uh, the window over there. I added this little table. I was like, yeah, the room's too empty. It needs a table or something. So I added this with the little red uh, flower cup. Or actually, uh, it was a regular teapot. But then I added the mushroom and it turned red. So this texture pack is pretty cool. Uh, I really like it. Anyways, yeah, and there's window space up there. So yeah, uh, overall, pretty uh, pretty cool looking, uh, at least in my opinion, pretty cool looking boathouse. So uh, yeah, you're probably wondering how to build this. So like I said before, it's for this bottom layer, 
13 by 13, and the floor's not on the same level as the ground. Uh, so here's the floor on the interior. Obviously, it's one block up. So you can just make a 13 by 13 with uh, regular stone. Posts on the outside, one, two, three, in. So you can see how I did all of that. And then after coming up four blocks, you start to build the roof. You build the roof so the interior is like three blocks tall right here uh, when you start to build the roof. It's a simple roof. You're just making stairs going all the way up, all the way back down. Uh, the kind of stair, then backward stair, stair, upside down stair, you know, that kind of deal. Uh, slab, regular, upside down stair. Uh, here's the design I just implemented to kind of give it a little more shape. Uh, there's some wood, spruce wood right here. Uh, posts, cobblestone posts with uh, regular spruce wood fences on them. Out on the ex exterior on these two sides, add cobblestone walls with fences. And uh, the roof looks pretty complicated, but it's actually very simple. All you got to do is mix stone bricks and cobblestone. So, for example, two cobblestone, a stone brick, a cobblestone, a stone brick, cobblestone, two, co two stone bricks, cobblestone, two stone bricks, two cobblestone. You get it. So, anyways, uh, what I would recommend is, like, actually building all in one material. So, I started with stone bricks. Uh, then I just, every now and then, I place a cobblestone or a series of cobblestone uh, stairs. Hold up. <coughs> Okay, I think I'm good. Sorry about that. That was probably super loud because I just kind of sneezed into my mic. Try to cover up with my hand. But anyways, so yeah, windows, um, I added kind of a, what is it, three by like five frame on the windows. Or just added a three by five rectangle up here of spruce. Uh, and every one I would build another one uh, until I created this second floor. Actually... Uh, the second floor, after you've created this uh, arch or whatever, after going 13, 12, 11, 10 in, so there's 1, 2, 3 here and 1, 2, 3 here, so you've got this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 long building over here, so 9 wide, uh, and the entire length over here it goes the entire length of the building. You just start building up. You just kind of make it so it's, uh, yeah. So, and once you get to this arch, it's like one, yeah, hold up. One, two, three. I don't know. You'd, you'd have to count, but anyways, so right around here. So this is the bottom, this is the floor for the other building. Hold up. Here's all the materials I used, minus for a few decoration blocks. Uh, I got spruce wood, uh, Blocks, planks, stairs, and slabs, spruce fences, spruce doors, dark oak wood, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, dark oak slabs, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone slabs, cobblestone walls, stone brick. That's supposed to be a stone brick blocks. It's monster eggs, my bad. Uh, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, stone, coarse dirt, chests, crafting tables, glass, glass panes, wooden trap doors, oak fence gates, ladders, and jungle boats. And like flower pots, I guess, and other decoratory items. So anyway, so here's the floor of the second uh, level in here. Let's, so you can see, or actually, here's where the ceiling is in uh, the second floor down there. So anyways, yeah. Uh, so you kind of built the rooms on top of each other. Here's the floor of the second, uh, or third story. Um, excuse me, I just got a text. Okay, it's nothing. It's trash. And then over here. So here's the wall, uh, here's the, the third story. I made a couple, gave it a little bit of room, and then I started building the roof up here. Hold up, let me set that time to day. Boom, there we go. And then the roof. I uh, started working on the roof. Uh, so it's a stair, then a block and a stair, uh, block, block stair, block, block stair, block, block stair, and then finally block on top, and then stair block stair and that's the roof so yeah it's it's kind of a, a weird slant on the roof I tried to do uh, block stair block stair block stair but it was just too steep and it was like up to here and still only like this far over so it was kind of weird so I decided to scrap that make it a little bit steeper and honestly I think it worked pretty well 
so yeah, uh, the window design's kind of random and wacky. Uh, I guess I did triangular shape, or not like, I don't know, three glass panes in weird shapes. Anyways, so yeah, uh, that's that. I'm trying to give you guys just, I don't know, a good view of how how to build this. So I, it's kind of hard to describe, so I'm just kind of letting you guys see how it looks, the height of everything. Uh, so yeah, get your screenshot fingers ready. I'll just go into F1 mode here. But yeah, so here here's kind of just a general overview of it. These roofs up here... Um, Hold up, let's go F1 again. Uh, these roofs up here, it's pretty simple. I would just, I, once I had finished the roof, I kind of carved out some blocks. It's five by one, two, three, e, four, five, six. So the roof, uh, this, well, this room itself is one, two, three, four, five. So it's kind of a rectangle, but I only go up three and then I start coming in. So yeah. So you can kind of see how that works. It's going with the roof. Uh, so yeah. And then over here, it's the same thing. So yeah. And then on the interior, you kind of saw how that was decorated. Uh, I'll go in one last time. But I didn't really hide over here. I didn't really hide the roof. Uh, obviously, I did a little pattern for uh, when you're doing the ceiling or the roof of the second floor. Hold up. This is one, two, three four, five, six, seven. Uh, so this room is seven blocks tall before you hit the ceiling. Then, so right here is the floor of the second room. This is where the dark oak is. So you've got eh, one, two, then you start making the roof. So then the roof comes in. I didn't try to hide it on this room either. I'm going back up to the third room. And hold up, wait, this is one, two, Two, three, four, five, six. Before you hit the ceiling, and lastly, I did try to hide the roof in here a little bit just by adding some dark oak slabs, you know. And this is one, two, three, four, five. Wait, hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Before you hit the roof. Okay, so seven, six, and seven, with blocks with one block floors in between so yeah there you go uh, dimensions of this I'm sure you guys have gotten a good enough view uh, of it on all sides to know how to build it as long as you've taken enough screenshots I'm sure you guys have you just screenshot or pause away or do whatever to this video that allows you to uh, build this with ease so yeah pretty simple I guess ish uh, I managed to build it uh, just from scratch, no real instruction whatsoever, no much, not much planning, whatever. But yeah, so anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I guess uh, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.